I can't see. <laughs> Can I have your glasses in the back? <laughs> I don't want anybody to stand for me. I'm going to stand myself because I'm making a declaration of the invisible right now. Uh, verse, <laughs> it is a true story. <laughs> verse 11. For 
priest will do is they shall charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Hallelujah. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Ollie on you guys. So you may feel like you've lost her, but you have not. Because what she planted in you and the things that are coming in the future are going to be poured out like rain. What the God's given to you and the loss of her. And it's going to build something in you. She's not gone. All those things that she's poured into you, the voice, her voice you heard, are going to build you up. And she left a legacy for you. And it's going to keep going. Got to keep going. Take it and run with it. Everything she taught you, take it and run with it. And God is going to show you the way. You might think, oh, I can't. I don't know how to do that, God. I don't know how to get to that place she was at. She didn't know either, but she took it one day at a time. God led her, and he's going to lead every one of you to that place in your life. Amen. 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 That's someone else wants to speak. Alabana, I have a word for you. When you ministered just now, you know, I saw your mom in you because, you know, I, I, I went to Guatemala with her and I saw how she ministered to the people. And what I saw in you was strength. I saw boldness. And what you had gone through in the last probably 10, 20 years out in Saudi Arabia might have broken you, but the Lord is saying that he is turning that around for his greatness. It's bringing glory to him. The strength that is upon you is bringing glory to him. Because in that suffering that you have gone through, he has poured his anointing into you. And then he showed me that he has planted a golden seed in your children. And everything you've gone through is not wasted. And that golden seed that is put in them is gonna grow into a golden tree and those branches are going to reach out and touch the lives of people around them. Because there are, there's a lot of people that they are going to come into an encounter with who need God. And they are going to be that golden branch that reaches forth and touch the lives of those around them. He's going to bring you the joy that you've been praying for. He's going to lift it. The trouble is only temporary, Sister Rose. And we're going to pray for you and command that sickness to go. And we're going to command joy to come. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we pray for Sister Rose. We command every sickness to go. We command every spirit
Yoga that he wants to remind you just as he answered your prayer a long time ago. Me and Sister Crump prayed for you about that certain thing that you really wanted. You know what it is. He wants to remind you just as he answered that prayer. He's going to answer the prayers you're praying now. Because it seemed impossible back then. It seemed hard back then. But he did it. He's going to do it for you again. And glory's going to come forth from that situation. Glory's going to come. And he says, remember Job, Sister Ruth. Remember Job. The afflictions he went through were only for a moment. Only for a time. But he blessed Job more in the end than he did in the beginning. Look forward to that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brother Jose, <laughs> when we were speaking about Brother Anthony's children, I saw him. And I, I saw you look at your children and kiss them. Don't think God's forgotten them. Because they have a special anointing on everything. I thought, I'll find them. And if there's any more. <laughs> He's got an anointing for him. And a special, you can see it on your children. You, they radiate with it. And remember that. You've nurtured them and you've placed the word of God in them. And it's going to grow and grow. And it's going to spread out to each person. Each one of them, said Rachel, has a specific personality. You can sit there and tell me exactly how this one is and that one is and this one and this one is. And God has tailor made their anointing to their personality. And you'll begin to see that blossom as they grow into young women. And they're going to be powerful. God bless you. Remember the, the word about Hannah. She used to say when she was a little tiny baby, she would go in the middle of the church service really loud. Yeah. Hallelujah! <laughs> and the Lord gave me a word for her a long time ago. But just as she has had a voice and we heard it in the church. So God's going to give her a voice among his people. Hallelujah. God wants to give, give us, put, pour out joy today. So I feel like there's a couple people, like this sister right here, I feel like God is going to give you a new joy. He's going to give you a new joy. So I want you just to lift your hands and we, we, we only say things that comfort and exhort people. So, I don't know your name. What's your name, Sister Tiffany? Okay, you lift your hands, Tiffany. God loves you, sweetheart. Lord, in the name of Jesus, God, we pray over Sister Tiffany, God. Lord, over everything that's not like you, every thought that comes to her mind that's not like you, God, we curse it and bind it.
unto joy. You know, he can take away the morning and give you dancing. The sun is coming to shine. You know how most of you guys, or some of you guys haven't watched The Wizard 